little bit more on tumbling because people ask. Uh, loading this thing, kind of critical, mainly with the Harbor Freight one because, like all great things Harbor Freight, it works just barely. So, it says five pounds, it's kind of obsessive about the five pounds. Don't put in a boatload more than five pounds. You kind of start to get a feel for it. That's media, and you get a ballpark idea of what it's up to. Overfill it by a bit, and it slows things down. Overfill it by a lot, and it breaks it. So, uh, your choice on what you want to do. You can half fill this, and it'll go a lot faster. It'll clean them up a lot faster. After you get those in, you don't got to bury them or anything. They'll do their own thing as soon as they get in there. Make sure this is nice along the edge. And then the rubber the steel, the wash, the wing nut, I'll give it a good shove down, I'm trying to do this all one handed, tighten it good, uh, don't be afraid to tighten it, it will eventually break apparently, that's what I've read in the reviews, but uh, you leave it loose, you will find the dust mess, and since I do this inside, and I always put it down on the floor. Putting it on the floor has two uh, bonuses. One, it can't walk its way off the bench onto the floor, but my experience has been it doesn't walk around at all. Uh, number two, though, this is one's more important, and this one I have noticed a lot. My floor is tile with concrete underneath it. So, with the uh, out of the way, with it on the floor because the motor is in the base. Yeah, that's my foot. Uh, it keeps it cooler. When I put it up on the bench, the wooden bench, I guess it wasn't a cool surface underneath it, and when I shut it off, the motor was warm. So keeping it on a concrete floor seems to help keep it cool, if nothing else. Oh, cool trick for the tumbler. Since I don't like to run it too long, again, because it's a Harbor Freight toy, uh, I got one of these. I don't even have a brand for you, but it's a timer. Yeah, let's see if there's a brand on the back. Nope. No brand, sorry. It says TM, like uh, Timothy Michael, 037. It's got that much on it. Oh, there you go. Uh, not sure how helpful that is. But what this thing does, and this is the coolness of it all, you can set it for how long you want it to run. Come on. Let's see if I can focus on that. Sorry, I'm having all focusing troubles today. Uh, Choices are always on, so it'll just remain on. And then uh, one, two, four, and I think that last one is eight hours. So you just tap it for, say, two hours. It'll run two hours and shut off. And that's it. It won't run again. So it's not like a, a regular light timer that goes on for so many hours every single day. This will go for two hours. Or however many hours you ask, two, four, six, or eight. So I will. It's already on. I will see if I can get that. It's a little toggle. So as soon as I put it on here, and I'm going to put it for one hour. Oh, Get an idea how noisy it is. It's not insanely noisy at all. And it'll get a tiny bit quieter in a minute. As the cartridges fill with media, it quiets down a tiny bit. Not by much, though. I leave it running for about 20-30 seconds, and then I will give the little wing nut one last check, because it's gotten loose once, and it makes an annoying mess, and once the top comes off, it gets extremely loud, and it scares everybody. That's the story. Questions? 
Leave a comment. Thanks.